This guy, Adam Rees, is a Nobel Prize winner who fundamentally changed how we think about our universe. Now, he believes the theory of the universe born out of his groundbreaking discovery might be wrong. And if he's right, then everything we think we know about how the universe will end could be completely backwards. Rees won the Nobel Prize back in 2011 for proving something mind-blowing, that the expansion of the universe is actually speeding up. And his calculations led to the establishment of dark energy. Dark energy has this repulsive gravitational effect that is literally pushing galaxies apart. The theory works like this. As more space is created between galaxies, dark energy's repulsive force gets stronger, which speeds up the universe's expansion even more. Eventually, the idea is all other galaxies will be completely driven out of sight. Reese's work became the foundation of what is called the standard model of cosmology, our best explanation for how the universe started and how it will end. For a while, cosmologists knew that the standard model did have some problems. No one had ever measured the actual rate of the universe's expansion with real precision. To do that, you would need to know exactly how far away the galaxies are, which happens to be Reese's specialty. What he does is he photographs stars as they're exploding and measures how bright they are. The dimmer the light, the farther away the galaxy. Every time Reese did his calculations, he kept getting different answers than what the standard model predicted. See, most cosmologists don't measure the distances of galaxies. Instead, they look at the afterglow from the Big Bang and extrapolate the expansion rate from that. There's only one problem with this. Those calculations are based on the standard model and is thus assuming that the standard model is correct. So what Reese is doing is going back and actually measuring the distances of the galaxies and with each measurement being clear that there was a discrepancy. Reese's findings became such huge drama in the cosmology world that they actually gave it an official name. They called it the Hubble tension. And the tension is real because if Reese's calculations are accurate, then the entire standard model could collapse. But it's not just Reese. Other scientists have done their own measurements and the Hubble tension shows up in their data too. However, the general consensus in the field is that it's far too early to simply throw out the standard model just yet. At the same time, no one has been able to find errors in Reese's work. So then what happens if the standard model does get overturned? Well, the Hubble tension measurements suggest that dark energy loses its strength over time, which is currently the complete opposite of what the standard model predicts. This would totally flip our end of the world scenario. The current model is the big rip theory, which is everything flying apart forever until even atoms get torn apart, ending in isolation and this cold emptiness. But if dark energy's power does fade to zero, that means the universe could stop expanding altogether and could even turn negative. So instead of repelling galaxies, it could pull them back together into one hot, single dense point, a lot like the one that existed during the Big Bang. Scientists are calling this potential scenario the Big Crunch. Everything would come back together in a fiery reunion. I mean, talk about coming full circle, literally. They learn science at TIL Science.